בסייעתא דשמיא גבורה שבחסד. Between man and God. התבונן האדם בדעתו, contemplate in your mind on the acts of gvur, of might, and of pachad, of fear, that Hashem acts in His world as a whole, and with you specifically, and how the intention behind all of them is to arouse the creations and to do good to them. Kedugmata Yisroim, like the hardships we go through in life, Abayim l'adam il amerek achet, they come in order to take away sin. Or to arouse the person to return in tshuva to Hashem. Everything that is going, all the hardships that are going down on the person, they're only to do good to that person. Right? The, it says in Mishle in the Proverbs that loyal are the injured of love. By way of the hardships that we come through, they're only in order to arouse us to return to Hashem out of love. So we see that the act itself of Gvura is Ahava and Chesed. You will now be acquiring the love of Hashem and you will complete yourself in Hashem's goodness, which is rooted in Chesed, by way of Maase Apachad Vagvura Veyisrim, by way of the scary and mighty acts and the hardships that are rooted in Gvura. Second contemplation between man and God. Contemplate more. Ki letzorech tovat nafsho vetikuna, in order for the benefit of your soul and its rectification. Vechen letzorech asagato et kirvat Hashem idbarach veavato, and then also for you. To comprehend the closeness of Hashem and His love, you should overcome, overcome your yetzer and to subdue the physicality of your body. Pay attention to it and contemplate on the fact that even though for now, for a little bit, you're going to have some hardships by way of going away from what your physicality is uh, desiring and what your body desires, by not giving in to what your body wants and overcoming that, you will be going through some hardships a little bit. Right? These hardships that you're going through are nothing in comparison to the love of Hashem. And the good that your soul will acquire Right? By way of not giving into your body's needs right now, meaning the, the desires of it, not the needs so much, but the desires, then you will only be getting more and more good. By way of you applying limitations and might and dominance and, 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 and limiting your bodily lusts, you will be receiving and comprehending more chesed for your soul. Third contemplation. Contemplate what's written in the words of the Arizal. The whole entire purpose of creation was so Hashem could give good and do good for His creations. So because of that, the Midah of Chesed, loving kindness, would just be spreading out in the whole entire world without any purpose, without any end. And Hashem saw that by way of Chesed having too much room to play and an abundance of Chesed in the world would actually do damage and cause a loss for the creations. Hashem came and saw that situation and brought into the play the Mida of Tzimtzum, the Mida of Constriction and Dean of Judgments. Limitations. Everything was for our benefit so that we'll be able to exist. Therefore, a person should learn from this that even in his good actions, and specifically when you're doing mitzvot of gemilut chasidim, when you're going to do kindness to other people, you should have some limit to the chesed that you're giving to other people. Why? So that you could always be able to be in a mode that you can give chesed. But if you give away too much, then you won't be able to. So you will be acquiring chesed, which is the mid of doing good for others and everything, by way of the tzimtzum, 
and then gvura, by way of putting limitations on how much you're able to give. And by way of limiting all that, you will be actually doing more chesed. Now between a person and his friend, when you do a mitzvah of chesed, constrict your consciousness and think very, very well. What are you doing a chesed and, and a benefit for your friend? And what is not actually considered chesed? What is maybe a benefit for now, for a little short time, but it might be some damage in the long run. Right? By way of you going into the contemplation of what the, what the act that I'm about to do, is it really a true chesed? Or is it maybe good for now, but in the end it's going to cause this person some damage? By way of you going into that contemplation... You completed and you gave existence to true chesed. You, so you rectified and completed the midah of chesed, which is chesdo v'tovato, al yedei midah tagvora, by way that you went into contemplation of constriction. Second contemplation with your friend. Pay attention to, constant, to constrict your mind and to measure in your head if there is a power in your chesed. Does my friend even have the power in his soul right now to receive the chesed from me? He shouldn't get so much good and then he's going to have damage from that. Sometimes we have to overcome our power that we want to give and we want to do good. And when we do that, that is specifically the way to do chesed sometimes. So you will be completing and acquiring more of the midah of chesed by way of midah tagvura. Third one, try to, when you go and to do mitzvot for other people, try to do it quickly. And with power, by way of your power and your quickness, which is rooted in gvura, you will be reaching chesed. When it comes to a body part in the body, when you go to do actions that have in them gvura or tzimtzum or zizut, right? they have might or some judgments or some limitations and quick acts, use your right hand, which is rooted in chesed, and you will be rectifying the body part of chesed, which is the right arm, by way of a pula gvura, by way of an action of limitation or gvura or, or might. Time. Try to have awe and fear of Hashem Yitbarach. To overcome your lusts. In the, in the day which is rooted in chesed, and more specifically in the morning which is inside chesed, even more. Second thing in time. Try to have extra kavana in the Shmona Yisrael when you come to the bracha of Reina Veonein. We see our affliction and, and, and the, the bracha of Geula. Mitfilat Shacharit in the morning, in the prayer of Shacharit, which was rectified by Avram Avinu, who is the Midah of Chesed. And when you say the name Elokim, have extra intention in it, which Elokim is rooted in Gvura. And while you're praying Shacharit, which is rooted in Chesed, you will be. Rectifying both. And the kinyan of the Torah for the day is Bishmiata Ozin, by way of listening of the ears.